Hey, parents and caregivers. Very low budget, no budget approach toward getting your you logged into PowerSchool to update on your student grades. So you're going to be receiving an email, hopefully, I'm doing this, we're doing this no budget, low budget, but we're trying to figure it out. It'll look like this. And where it says parent, that's the name given, student name, access ID, access password. That'll be all there. You can be able to look at your kids' grades and I'm gonna set it up for myself the first time following the instructions. So, one, go to the parent page on our website and click on PowerSchool icon. So here's the parent page. I click on here, I click on there, and I look for the PowerSchool icon, and I think I see it. Well, that looks like Power, there's a lot of stuff there, so let's go here clicking on my power hub. So I'm going to create an account. I'm going to create the account. And my first name is Rev B A Greg and I'm going to put in my email revb.a.greg at gmail.com rev.b.a.greg at gmail.com cuz that goes to my phone. Desired username, Rev, Rev, B, A, Greg, password, oh, I don't know what my password will be, I'll make it something easy, I'll say, P, I'll say something, so I'll just use my normal password so you can't see it, I have a password for home accounts and a password for school accounts, ooh, I'm the strongest password. So don't worry about the noise in the back. I'm doing this while we are doing the thing. All right, now it, uh, we have a food pantry today. So let's go. Student name. So I'm going to put in my one kid's name. And I'll put in the other kid's name, actually. So there it is. Her access ID, I've recorded it right here. And her ac and my access password, which is in the document, I recorded it right here. So you'll go to access, student name, access ID, access password. Create an account, okay? Well, I'm not gonna bother my other kids yet, but I will eventually. I'm gonna hit enter. And I'm going to save my password in the Google. Your new power school has account has started. So I need to go now to check my email. And I am looking. I am looking. I am. I am looking for my email. So I'm looking. Maybe it's in spam. You never can tell if it's in spam. Nope, not in spam. This is live and in person. So I'm going to try it again. Look for important. It's important to me. Uh, I'm going to try and find everything. So I'm going to go to inbox again. It might, oh, there it is. Takes a bit. Sorry. To verify, click the link within 24 hours. Okay. Bingo. And congratulations. What's my username? Oh, it's Rev B A Greg. And my password is, let's pull it up there, and let's sign in. And there's the grades. Wow, I see my kids' grades. Yay, there it is. So you can see your child's grades this way. Uh, quarter one, which is what we're in. I could email my teacher. Uh, I could, oh, I want to see why the grade's low in, in uh, algebra. So I click on that, and I see some grades. Okay, good. Oh, really good, really good. Those are wonderful. Aren't those nice? 
So every teacher has their grade book set up a little differently, but this will give you an idea. And then I can click over to here, Greg's in attendance, uh, email notification, see what that does. Uh, what information would you like to receive? Oh, it can go directly to my email. That sounds good. I want a summary of their current grades in attendance. Uh, detailed, I don't need a detailed report. Uh, and then that looks good. And I think I want to have my wife have an email too, I think. No, nah, she doesn't want an email. She, she tells me how frequently, uh, weekly. That's good. So now, are these uh, settings of revision? I send your students, and now, yeah. And then it's hypothetically going to send now. That's pretty good. That, that's pretty cool. So let's go back, play around with it a bit. Grades and attendance. So I see she was ill. And I see an unexcused absence here, which means if she was sick for a doctor's appointment or whatever, she definitely needs to uh, bring that blue slip in. So every teacher's grades are differently. Uh, here's her Latin grade, which looks good. Uh, so her progress, oh, there it is. Formative assessment, that's nice. So I can see where the grade is and I can go from there with it. So that's how uh, we're gonna be setting up the PowerSchool uh, logins for parents and uh, this gives you some access. Uh, so we'll uh, see you at open house. And uh, happy, happy looking, happy looking. Always remember that kids' achievement is not based on just them or just the school. It's just the parents, the home, the school, and the kid. That's how we're going to have that triad of power. All right. So that's everything we need, and I look forward to seeing you at Open House.